Keep fingers close for me. Today, it's only three riders left out of seven because of accidents, injuries, and it's actually four of us that were had a terrible accident. I'm barely moving my right arm, but still want to finish that. Won't be easy because I couldn't even put my gear on because it was so bad. So we'll see how it goes today. Tomorrow, 100 and hot shower and end of the trip celebrations celebration yeah kilometers today and 100 left from the last day let's do it the boss is leading then we've got two romantic off road guys and three of us So I can go forward because I will be slower, yeah? So it's okay, we will have to wait for them, so... Right now. Focused on the terrain, I started losing the sight of the guys in front. Somehow we got lost and basically part of our group went too much forward with three guys and we got lost, no reception, no signal, no internet, nothing. So we have to actually head to the destination point because this is the only way to find each other. It's just uh, Gobi is too big. To be able to spot someone you can see something you, you think that it's a uh, th there are people over there but actually those are stones or chips or whatever Hi, <laughs> Luckily, we got reunited by the bridge. That's my team over there. It took me just about three minutes when they were stationary and now I can barely see them so it's very easy to lost your fellows on the desert There are holes where you should actually ride so it's very very dangerous and you might not be able to see it unless you actually stand something like this a hole
with you. <laughs> Eventually, we've done it. After like 300 kilometers, because we've done a detour to see basically uh, that national park from the other side. It, it was definitely worth it because we saw actually wild deer on the way. Hey. Eventually, we're here. We are done, almost 300 kilometers. I think it's actually 300 kilometers. We are at the Poste uh, National Park. This area is uh, well known for... We actually managed to see them. I cannot raise my hand because of the injury, so... Deers and also on the other side, in the upper corner, uh, eagles. Actually, there was a lot of eagles on the way throughout the whole trip. I was surprised that it's so actually many of them in Mongolia. They are circling, circling you around and it feels like they are gonna attack you. Especially when I was droning. That was like mm, dodgy. As I, I was afraid that I will, I'm gonna lose the drone. Dava, whenever he goes, he's surrounded by beautiful ladies. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes, sir? Yes. So we've got just last now night in Yurt. And let me just show you what I've got today. Because it's, it's just VIP. Big time. One single, one double bed. All clean. I even have my own fridge. Uh, nothing inside it, but we can actually arrange that as well. Oh god, I didn't know that I looked like that. <laughs> Thank you. Full service. Those yurts are cool, right? Yeah, very good. Yay! Magic fridge! Let's have one. Well deserved. And the view outside is just like that. We've been even promised a hot shower, but I cannot still believe that in Yurt uh, we will have so, because we've been promised that in a few places before, and it was always cold water. Now, after doing this, people that do Dakar rally are just fucking heroes to me. I don't know. I don't know how is it possible to do that, really. Going so fast through the terrain like this, I was sometimes doing <laughs> funny 50 kilometers per hour or even 30 today, going downhill with deep holes and uh, narrow road that you've, get, you've had only a chance to put the wheel in between of the uh, holes. So basically, respect the guys. Mm -hmm. 